today I'm back with another nail art video. Today we're gonna be doing Care Bears nail art using my new collection, the I'm Sprung Gel Collection, coming May 28th on my website at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Also gonna be using my brushes and some new full cover square tips. Make sure you watch this whole video because I'm gonna be dropping some secrets, some tips and tricks, how I do my nail art. And as always, please remember to drop me a comment letting me know what kind of nail art videos you wanna see. What kind of videos should I make? You guys gotta let me know these things because I am here for you. In this video, I'm using my full cover XL square tips. I'm gonna be putting these on later. I'm gonna be taking my Be My Lover Blue and doing one coat of this color. This is one coat. Now I'm gonna be taking my I'm Sprung Pink and I did two coats of this color, but this was after one coat. Now first things first, we're gonna start with the blue bear on the pink nail. I'm getting the outline of him. Now he's not outlined with black or I would normally go in with a black outline. So I'm just doing the base color of him as his outline. And we're gonna later go in with the darker blue to bold it all out. Right now I'm using my nine millimeter brush, which is linked in the description below in my genie in the bottle blue. I mixed this liner gel with some white liner gel to create a little bit lighter tone blue. One thing I'll say about painting characters is you need to be constantly in your head measuring out lines. So say you lay down one line, you wanna compare it to where you laid down the line previously to that and pay attention to the size of everything. I'm getting the inside of his facial features. Right now I'm drawing out the eyes and his tiny little eyebrows. After all of that is done and everything is laid out, I'm gonna take my white liner gel. I'm gonna be getting in the belly area his mouth area and his eyes. Next, I'm gonna show you a really cool shading technique. Now you wanna take the liner gel blue and mix it with clear top coat to create the perfect jelly shading color for the Care Bears. I'm adding shading by his eyes, underneath his chin, on his feet, and a little bit by his arms. This is what you should have. Now let's add the details. First, I'm starting by adding his little toes and these little dots on his feet along with a tiny little heart. Now I'm gonna be adding a little heart on his nose and adding his little mouth. We're gonna draw a cloud on his belly area. Next, I'm taking my diamond detailer brush. I love this brush and the micro detailer brush is actually my favorite, but I couldn't find it anywhere, so we're using this one. I'm getting the outline of his eyes and then filling in half of the eye area with black and then I'm going with my white liner gel, putting little pupils in his eyes. The blue, I'm just adding some dots on his face and I'm going in and bolding out everything at the end. In the picture, he was sitting on a cloud, so we're gonna just add white down to the bottom here to create the cloud, followed by the blue gel polish to create some little fluffs on the clouds. I'm finishing it off with my favorite matte top coat, and voila, look at how cute he is, you guys. Next, we're gonna be painting the pink Care Bear. It was so funny, because when I looked up pink Care Bear, it gave me like the new version, and what the heck has life come to, because the older ones are so much cuter. For this outline, I'm using my I'm Sprung Pink that we used in the previous nail base color, and I'm just getting his outline of his body, leaving an open space for the belly, and just filling it all in. Now again, I'm gonna be taking my white liner gel and just filling in where the stomach is. And next, I'm gonna be taking an unreleased liner gel of mine, a pink color, and I'm gonna be just getting the outline of his head. One thing I love about the nine millimeter brush is you have so much control. It's great for beginners and advanced artists. You can create thick lines and very thin lines with this brush. Now, just like everybody else, I do make mistakes, but when I do, I use my little baby blender brush to erase any mistake. I wanna make this leg a little wider, so I'm just going with some alcohol and erasing the problem. Never over flood that brush with alcohol though. This is what we have so far. Now we're going in on the facial features. You wanna get these lines as thin as possible so you can go over them again later. If you wanna readjust anything, it won't be as noticeable. Next, you wanna draw out the little eye areas. We're gonna be filling this in with white, followed by some tiny little eyebrows. And we're gonna go ahead and take that liner gel and just fill in the eye area and the nose area. Now in order to create this jelly color for the shading, I again used my no wipe top coat and I'm just mixing it with that same liner gel we used for the outline of the bear. I'm putting it in his little face area under his chin and down here under his feet. 
After that, we're gonna take that same pink liner gel and just add a little heart nose and outline two little spots on his eyes. I'm gonna go in with my baddest black liner gel and fill in his mouth area and outline the eyes. Like the last one, we're gonna add three little dots on his nose area. Then I'm gonna take these beautiful colors from the collection and I'm gonna be adding a little rainbow on his belly. And don't forget, after every single color that you do, make sure you cure it in the lamp so they all don't run into each other. We're gonna add the little dots in his eyes. Finish it with matte top coat and it is done. Look at how cute he came out. Now I'm going to show you my game-changing way to do gel ombre with my As If Ombre brush. For the base, I'm doing two coats of the I'm Sprung Pink. After curing it in the lamp, I'm going to just cushion this blue mm, one-third of the way down, and then using light feather stroke motions, I'm just going to be feathering this down. At the midway mark where the colors really blend together, you want to just finish it off by doing tapping motions. This helps blur any streaks and helps you achieve a flawless ombre. I'm gonna cure that in the lamp and then I'm gonna repeat that same exact step one more time. I do wanna mention that I am using this ombre brush dry with no alcohol on it at all. And also be aware of the angle of the brush. You want it flush to the nail. Can we just look at this ombre real quick? It's giving cotton candy. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I love these stars. Oh, the stars are so cute. I had to add them. I was gonna be like, oh, I'm done. Let's just do the ombre. But I was like, no, we gotta add the stars. So from the collection, I used my My Sunshine Yellow for the bodies, went in with my orange liner gel mixed with white, and then I just started adding on little facial features on the inside. I also decided to add some twinkles just to fill in some space. And for the reveal, ah, I'm screaming. These are so cute and I really love how the matte top coat made them look so soft and just adorable. I'm so freaking in love with how these came out and this ombre is to die for, you guys. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Make sure that you leave me a comment, you like, and you subscribe to my channel if you want to. Um, I will be trying to be more active on here. I'm trying to make more time to create content and bring you guys some nail art videos every single week. Don't forget that my new gel collection drops on May 28th at 9 a.m. Eastern time. There will be a limited amount of these until restock, so be sure to snag your own. Until next time, you guys, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what kind of nail art videos you want to see me do next. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,